All right, guys, we're gonna head down to deck seven now, or actually Hold six. But no, on the way, we're gonna show oh, you the library. Okay, so it's gonna come up in this glass elevator. Yeah, go to right, six I'm or whatever. Six. Yep. So. Well, then I should have really hit. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. There's the Vitality Spa, the Wind Jar, and then here comes the library in a second. Boom, that's the library, library. And then the, no books in it. Oh, and that's, and that's next, next cruise. cruise. Yeah. So if you want to book a cruise, you can go there yep. and uh, we're getting off and yeah. we're going to walk down yeah. to five. Uh, if, if you do use us as your agents, which, you know, we're not necessarily promoting here, but if you want to, we're happy to help you. Uh, you're still welcome to book on board and let them know that you're booking with us. They'll help, help you out with the uh, reduced uh, deposits. Um, you'll get OBC, you get all kinds of perks, and then you can easily transfer it to us and we can manage it for you. So definitely come visit them and let them know that we're, we're helping you. Uh, they're super friendly, super nice, and they're also super knowledgeable. Obviously, who's gonna know Royal other than us better than these guys right Correct. here. So definitely wanna check them out if you're on board. Uh, now we're gonna take you down. There's also something Ooh. called an open booking. So if you know you're going to want to cruise, but you don't know the exact time that you want to cruise, you can create an open booking. It's still the reduced deposit. And if you choose your cruise within two or three months, you actually get to keep the onboard credit. Yep. And uh, this is what she's talking you get the reduced right here. deposit. It's pretty cool. It's a cool option. And you can, of course, pause the video at any point and read all this if you'd like. So that's what she's referring to right there. And that's next cruise. Yeah. I think that open booking is super cool. Yeah, it is. Every, every stairwell, by the way, has art installations, like every, everywhere. It's something to look at and little, little placards that explain what it is. And it's very, very nice. We are now on deck five. The uh, Oasis had one of Laura's favorite art installations. It was called Small Wonders. Oh, I did. And she used to be able to go wonders. all over the ship. It had this, was it like a, almost like a hunt, a scavenger yeah, hunt? Yeah, kind of. And you could find all the little, it Tiny was a little, little viewfinder and yeah. you'd look in the, oh, it was, it was really fun. cool. Really, really cool. It was cool. really fun. So anyway, nostalgia. So this is the main dining room. It is on decks five, four, and three. They're all the same. They all have the same meals. Um, I'll take you in, the door's open, so why not? Let's show you what's going on in the main dining room. It's a very pretty main dining room. I, I like it. I like it. But it is pretty standard, traditional, you know, that quintessential cruise main dining room. That's right here. And, uh, you know, the servers, they just bust their butt to make you happy. It's, it's, they really do. Part of what initially made us fall in love with cruising was the MDR. Um, MDRs uh, have, unfortunately, uh, become hit and miss. Some are amazing, and some, uh, some, some leave a lot to be desired. This, uh, unfortunately, the food here last night, I'm gonna see again tonight, but um, not the best, not the best. Uh, so we'll see if they, they continue that. Laura had the wind jammer for lunch. I had uh, the, the Elf Loco Fresh. She enjoyed her uh, Indian immensely. I did a lot, all Indian. It was great. But we had breakfast and it was all meh. It was, it was all bad. meh. So a little hit and miss, unfortunately, in the Royal Caribbean MDR, main dining room, by the way, MDR. So you can sound fancy and cool like us. You say MDR you're instead in the of, know. you're in the know. And again, oh, another thing here. Even more ways. Look at this. So and not, every elevator. you can see forward versus aft, floors. They tell you where all the bathrooms are. <laughs> it's so helpful. It's incredibly helpful. It's so ridiculous that they don't have this. So ridiculous. Okay, so now on your right is guest services. And then on your left is the famous R bar. We're not going to take them outside on this deck because you should have been watching us on Facebook Live where we went out yesterday and took you on a full 360 uh, tour of the outside promenade, which means you need to be checking us out on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, everywhere. Check out our website. Text us at 407-536-7268. There's so many ways to keep in touch with us and see what's happening. Watch the cruises, watch the travel, watch Laura be a, you know, 
a rock star, a total rock star. <laughs> our bar, so many memories at this place. We loved our bar and so many ships. Ready? Met so many great people on our bar. Ah, uh, Laura took a photo. Um, I was down. I was. I was down on these stairs here, and I took a photo of her mocking, mimicking the dude. <laughs> She's uh, nostalgia, okay, okay. nostalgia, nostalgia. This is known as the Royal Promenade. The uh, Royal Promenade exists on the Voyager class ships, the Freedom class ships, and the Oasis class ships. They did not exist on the Quantum class because that has a Royal Esplanade. Esplanade. Every promenade. Uh, I don't know if the Esplanade is because we've never been on a quantum class ship, but every promenade has a car, a car on it. And there's a little story behind that. I'll let you learn that on Google and chat groups and stuff. I vaguely remember what it was about. Something to do with this. the first captain that had one of these. and I think it was his personal car. No. Anyway. So, Did that come down? I know you can't old Royal yourself. Caribbean Any trivia. Longer? You're gonna get some of my singing. Ah, um, people like that. This, this is, is the bamboo, bamboo room. room. Yep, bamboo. Take you through here real quick. Yesterday at this place, we go back 55. And we, we went and got real touristy last night and we bought a couple of little mugs. <laughs> so cute. We don't normally buy chasky type things, but you know, cute, cute. The drinks are really good. The drinks are really good. Bartenders work their butts off. So definitely come check out the bamboo room. Get, they have little light bites that you can get. It, they, they're an additional charge, but um, if you get the ultimate dining package, they're included in that. So might want to consider the ultimate dining package. This is brand new to us. We've never seen this to dry for. So you can tell it's a salon of some sort. This is on every cruise ship from the Radiance class up, right? It has a, a British pub, English pub. This one here is the Copper and Clover. Everyone has a different little cute name. Poland Bear and whatever. So, take you in real quick. We got some great boozes here. Great draft <laughs> options. So, if you're, if you're a, a fine quality drinker, if you're not a Bud Light man like me, which I'm all humble, humble. And this is the bar for you. They got some great stuff. We have found some amazing bartenders in here. Oh, pardon me, folks. Thank you. Downstairs, you can go to see the casino. I'll show you that later, a different video or the same video or something like that. Hello. How you doing? This is your Ben & Jerry's. Your freestyle machines. Yeah, which, which are included in the beverage package if you purchase the beverage package. You could also buy a classic soda package if you're just a soda drinker. Correct. Right now for us this week, it's free. It's free. Yeah, you got Ben and Jerry's on many, many ships, if not all ships by now. Uh, that's also an additional charge. Cafe here. There's also a Starbucks on the deck below. Uh, this here, this cafe, lattes, espressos, all that stuff. Same stuff as Starbucks, all included in your drink package. When you have one of these and a Starbucks on board, Starbucks is not included in your drink package. Correct. When you don't have one of these and a Starbucks on board, then the Starbucks is included in your drink package. How interesting. Yeah, so when you have this, I honestly feel like the Illy Coffee is phenomenal. I have no reason to go pay $5 when I can get something included in my drink package. Um, this is the Cafe Promenade. Had a lot of late night stays here. One, yeah. two in the morning coming in, getting some snacks. So this is a hidden Sorrento's pizza place for those of you who know Sorrento's. Yeah, they've changed it. It they've used to be this big it. banner. They said Sorrento's yeah. on it. Yeah. So now, now they, the pizza's back there. I don't even know if it is Sorrento's anymore. So you can come get pizza. I think it's 24 hours a day. 
for you. Let me put some toppings on there if you like. Sorry. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Playmakers is a new concept to arrive within the last few years. Sports bar. If you like sports, it's great. I mean, TV's everywhere. Good service, great little snacks that they sell. For a um, fee. Yeah, for a fee. That's your Playmakers. We have friends who are on the ship uh, sailing right now, and they said that they don't hear the music late at night, but they do hear the, the they feel the bass yeah. when they're trying to sleep um, because the music is playing here. I'll say though, if you're gonna buy a interior room, oftentimes these are minimally more expensive than an interior room, and you get a little perk to it. If you're gonna be in an interior, at least you get an interior with a window. But uh, yeah. it's not normally where Laura and I like to stay. Well, we like to see the ocean. We're on a cruise, so at least an ocean view. You know, one of those rooms with a window. The, the other problem that we have is with interiors, you, it's always dark, so you never wake up naturally from the light. Yeah. This is the Star Lounge we're heading into. Um, in previous years, I don't. That leads to a crew area now. Oh. But I thought it used to have one side was one and one side was the other. This side is the Diamond Club. Okay. It used to it be used the, the concierge, connoisseur, the connoisseur. The cigar. It was a cigar. Don't make that gesture. Cigar. <laughs> cigar lounge. I don't know if that was on film. Hopefully that, uh, that was not on film. It wasn't anything. It was a cigar. <laughs> yeah, sure it was. And then this is where we're going to be doing the silent party tonight, silent disco. We'll be followed by the late night dancing. This is the star lounge. We've had Quest adult game shows in here in previous I years. I do remember that. This was uh, the murder mystery show, was where we first met up. Do you remember the murder mystery dinner show? Yeah, I don't remember meeting in the studio lunch for that. We but, did. Okay. It wasn't the ship though, was it? Oh gosh, I don't know. We did the, studio, the mystery dinner thing like 15 years ago, 10, 15 years, I don't know. They either. don't make it anymore. I don't no, think they no, do they it anymore. No, they got canceled. <laughs> they got canceled. For a reason. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So I guess we'll just run down the stairs and keep this going. Sure. Um, I don't know what happened on that last video, if it got cut off or what, but uh, and they do also have, I don't know if you saw when we were in the, on the pool deck, there's a big movie under the stars tonight with, uh, they're playing Wonder Woman 1984. Oh, okay. So that's fun to sit out. It's gonna be a little chilly tonight, but it's nice to sit outside. And again, on a two night, too much to do to be, sitting and watching a movie for two hours is so much to take in but right. uh we'll peek we'll peek them so now we here. are on deck four uh this is the royal theater which is not open which don't go any further open. than that <laughs> i'm just gonna give them a little peek outside they should have watched this on the facebook live oh it's so pretty but i mean god it's so pretty i have to give them a little something wow look at that god this is why i cruise right here the ocean, the sunsets, the clouds, the stars, the sun. Oh, nothing better than being in the middle of the ocean. So peaceful, so powerful. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then, uh, if you can see down the way, they do shuffleboard. Somewhere along the wall, uh, somewhere along this wall here, you'll, there's, a container where it has the shuffleboard equipment. You don't have to do anything and pay for it. Just grab it, play yeah. shuffleboard, and then put it back when you're done. This uh, is also the smoking area. It's one of the smoking areas, yeah. But when there's not smoking, Laura and I like to sit out here. It's a great place. It's quiet. It doesn't matter if it's a 6,000 person Oasis class ship. You can still come out here and sometimes be the only one out here. Yeah. It's everyone says, oh, overcrowding, overcrowding. Eh. Not, not necessarily, you just gotta know where to go. Exactly. You go to uh, Central Park sometimes while everybody's getting prepared for dinner and you're like the only one in Central Park. So. Okay, so let's go on in here. Yeah. This is a new concept for Royal as well. It's hooked into the seafood restaurant. Um, this is where the old Sabor used to be. That is correct. That is correct. Um, All right, haven't had a chance to try it yet, but it, we did, they give us some free samples, and it was uh, pretty delicious. So I'm looking forward to 
Oh, I was going to say on Mariner, trying it, but I'm not going to get a chance. It's on select ship, so hopefully when Mariner gets amplified, we're going to have this concept uh, come, come to us. That's the, uh, that's the hooked. 90s, yeah, 90s, this Road. is one of the most famous venues on any Royal Caribbean ship. It's been around as long as that Cosmopolitan Viking Crown Lounge. Road. It's called the Road. Schooner Road. Bar. Road. Trivia. Road. Du not dueling pianos, but piano bar. So lively, so much energy. Spent a lot of time in this on every ship. Every ship has it located in a little bit different area. This one is back here. Uh, it's really great because you go to the Royal Theater right there. You come out of the theater and you boom, oh, you're right into the live music. Just the, the fun doesn't stop. No, it's really so much, so many things to do. And then Cedar Royale, something of which Laura and I have no expertise in whatsoever. And I don't know that I'm allowed to film, so I'm gonna hold it down, pretend like I'm not filming. I'm just gonna <laughs> kind of walk on through. Pretend like we're not filming, just holding the camera. Just nonchalant. If you watched Laura do this on Virgin, she was freaked out. That was that one time she controlled the camera. And you saw a lot of wall and a lot of floors. <laughs> so, yeah, most of their casinos look fairly similar. My one ding is that for some reason they still allow smoking in their because, casinos. Yep. And I don't understand why. And it bleeds out into the non-casino areas, which is yeah. not the best. For those of us who might want to play casino, I don't know what you call play it. Play casino? casino? Exactly. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and there's your onboard Starbucks. It's just bad if we don't like smoking. Yeah. Which is like 95% of the population don't smoke anymore. So I'm I sure know. some haters are going to... I'm sure somebody's going to comment. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. This, this is, is Boleros. Boleros, which is, again is on many, many ships. It's a Latin-inspired. They have the best caparinas here. Uh, mojitos, so it's a great place to get that. Live music late at night, you can dance. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Okay, and that's the main dining room again. Okay. And then we should go back down one more level because there's very little down there for us to go show. This way, and then I can quickly zoom you guys in on the menu for the night. So, I'll be having some of that filet myself. Laura thinks she's just going to do every appetizer. <laughs> I call am. that dinner. I'm going to do every single appetizer. But no. Sometimes that is a a little cheat in an MDR that might not be the best MDR is to just do their soup, salads, appetizers because usually you'll find that those are okay. Yeah. Now we are on deck three. It's another level of the dining room. One of the levels uh, is for the mine time dining. Yes. And then the other two are for the early and late seatings. This is where your Studio B is, your photo lounge. And your art gallery. And your art gallery. Oh, they're doing uh, the ice skate. Oh, okay. I was wondering what that, that music was. It was very good. I like that. That right there is the famous John Winters. <laughs> famous John Winters. That's the end. Yeah. Take you in there. That's your... It's your ice skating show there, so the Studio B. Oftentimes they will also do the Quest in here. Um, I love, I think the Studio B venue for this Quest is the best one, except one time we saw a guy because there's ice under the floor, the seepage, and somebody yeah. slipped and it really got hurt. So they have to watch that, but. I don't like the Studio B for the Quest. The where, quest. where do you want it? Um, I probably, I have the Starlight Lounge. Oh, like the problem it, yeah. is that there's, because there's, the, the stairs railings. and the barrier are up, but you can separate the teams real well yeah, in there. But you yeah, but people try to hop over the it's, And it's dangerous, rail, yeah. It's exactly, dangerous. Because they're drunk. It's late at night. It's not a safe thing to do. No. And I think that is it. it. So I hope we all enjoyed it. Again, we ask you that if you did enjoy it, please 
like and subscribe. And, and if share. you didn't enjoy it, you're still gonna like, like and subscribe, subscribe and, and share. share. <laughs> Comment if you have any questions. Uh, of course, you can text us 407-536-7268. Get us on Instagram. You can get us on Facebook. You can get email. It's ea.travel.scott at gmail.com. Um, there's a million ways to get us. And, uh, and with that, I guess we're going to say uh, good night for now. Peace out, home slices. A very professional Wolf Blitzer woman right there. She wants a cocktail, so that's what we'll be doing. Deuces, guys.